Happy Thursday, all my fellow brothers and sisters and doll. It's me, your buddy Donnie again, bringing you another dolly review. And as always, I'm telling it like a T.I. is. And last week, I brought you a review of these Mermaid Princess dollies by Toys and Things that were um, marked 2001 on their boxes. Okay, now those dolls were essentially these, okay, um, with a variation of hair colors in fantasy tones, okay, and also uh, the length, you know, was very, very um, lengthy, no pun intended, okay. And uh, now those dolls, like I said, they were marked 2001, okay, um, but these, I found these other two not too long ago, okay, and... Uh, but there is no marking on their box with a date, okay? There is no year on um, on either of the boxes, okay? Um, I'm theorizing that these Mermaid Princess, okay, were made um, after, okay, uh, the ones that I showed you that say 2001, okay? So these might have been you know, made in 2002, 2003, might have been. And why am I theorizing that, that these dolls were made after the ones that I showed you earlier? Well, it's because these dollies, okay, let me show you. This is the exciting part, the unboxing. These dollies, as you can see, okay, they're essentially the same. As, as the others, you know, but the difference is that I noticed, and again, I um, have an eye for this, is that these dolls, okay, um, have a much shorter hair, okay, so, and uh, their outfits, you know, do not have that uh, silver segment that the other dolls have. So I guess after those dolls sold well, you know, uh, Toys and Things might have simply said, okay, let's keep issuing these dolls, but um, let's save on hair, you know, so root them shorter, and let's save on fabric and omit the silver uh, um, segment on her tail, okay? After all, if we change the position of the doll, having her sitting down, Folks might not be able to tell that we skimped on fabric. Again, this is just a theory. I'm not slamming or slandering, you know, um, on, on any toy company whatsoever. Again, I'm just theorizing what might have happened, you know, um, because again, you know, I can't stress this enough. Everything about the dolls that we adore is a business decision. Everything, everything about them. Okay, so um, my, you know, guess, you know, is pretty decent that, again, after those dolls sold, you know, well, you know, um, they simply said, okay, let's just, you know, do shorter hair, save on hair, you know, and, uh, but still issue them as a blonde, okay, um, one with lavender hair, one with pink hair, Okay, and um, well, yeah, that, that's it, at least the, the white ones, you know. But um, let me make a point that I was able to find online at a very good price not too long ago, okay, what I was asking about, you know, because I've really never seen, you know, uh, the black version of these dollies, okay. Yes, she is quote-unquote a dip doll because they simply poured brown plastic you know, on the, on the molds that they use for her equally lovely Caucasian counterpart, okay? So, yes, the black version is, well, a dip doll for by definition, okay? Uh, nevertheless, um, I don't know, and I don't believe, and again, I, I, I don't know this for a fact, that dip dolls may necessarily uh, have been begathed out of racism per se, um, I'm more inclined, to, I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe, but I'm more inclined to believe 
that deep dolls, at least, you know, in the last 20 years, you know, um, wasn't necessarily because of a racist attitude as far as not believing, you know, that a black looking doll would sell. Okay, no, maybe not necessarily that, because, you know, black dolls have already proven to be, you know, very good sellers, you know. Um, so that's, I, I'm not really um, too inclined to believe that. But what I do believe more, you know, it's it's more of a possibility why they continue to make dip dolls, okay. Like I said, not necessarily out of racism, but more out of uh, cheapness and greed, cost-effective, you know, because it is cost-effective, you know. I mean, why bother, you know, making another head mold for the same doll just for the black dolls when I can still pour brown plastic on the same head mold that I use for the white dolls? Kids are kids. These toys are probably going to end up in the trash anyways. So, again, I'm more inclined to believe that the reason why dip dolls you know, continue to be, to be made, you know, again, isn't really, um, out of racism, but more because it's cost effective. You know, it really is cost effective. Okay. Um, these dollies, you know, um, as you can tell, their legs do not bend. They are soft and hollow. Okay. Um, the rest of their bodies, okay, um, are not bad. You know, their heads, you know, are very good uh, consistency, you know. So, again, uh, to call these dolls clones, quote-unquote, uh, might be a misrepresentation of the facts. Because, again, you know, they are made of all original body molds, you know. Uh, but then again, they're not of the highest quality. Now, uh, something else that I noticed that I, again... This is just theory, okay? I'm just theorizing that the reason why nowhere on the box, okay, these dolls have a date, okay, is because, again, that's a business strategy, okay? A business strategy that um, speaks to the fact that dolls, just like in any other business, in order to remain competitive, okay, okay, um, they have to be, have an edge, somewhat of an edge, okay? So maybe last year's dolls, you know, are no longer relevant, okay? Last year dolls, you know, are not selling anymore or, or there's, again, another competition from other toy companies. So for toys and things purposely to leave out a date, okay, off of the boxes gives the dolls uh, a little more shelf life. Okay, because since there's no year on the box, they can remain on shelves, you know, maybe one, two, three years, you know, and still look relevant, quote unquote. Okay, um, as a child, you do not notice any of these things because, again, you know, kids are just caught up in the fact that, ooh, a pretty doll, ooh, she's pretty, oh, let me comb her hair, oh, I'm gonna change her outfit. You know, as a child, you know, you're just caught up into that, you know. But as we get older, at least I have, um, I've come to notice little details, you know, that again, are all business decisions, you know, um, because again, these dolls were not, they might have been made with love, you know, but these dolls weren't born out of love. These dolls were born, you know, um, again, as a business to make money. And there's nothing wrong with that. I support capitalism, you know, very, very much. Free enterprise and all of that. Yes, it's wonderful, it's wonderful, you know. But um, again, because, you know, I'm such a dull nut, you know, I, I can't help be somewhat sensitive, you know, to these details and issues, okay. Uh, these mermaid princesses dolls, okay, like I said, um, they're very, very pretty, you know. Again, I endorse them gratuitously. Uh, their packaging is very attractive, okay. Uh, they're still, like I said, very Barbie-esque. Okay, um, and uh, I know they must have been good sellers. They must have been good sellers. And again, uh, whether these dolls with the shorter hair and the sitting down position packaging might have been released after 2001, 
it's a theory because, hey, you know, maybe these dolls were actually released in the late 90s, you know, and by 2001 is when Toys and Things decided to repackage them and, uh, you know, in the standing up position, you know, um, with the silver segment on their tails and much, much longer hair, you know. But again, looking uh, from the business uh, point of view, yeah, I do believe these dolls are more likely to have been issued after 2001, okay? Um, again, I believe I have taken enough of your time. Thank you all for stopping by. Thank you for your comments, the private and the public ones. I appreciate your views. Please share and subscribe as always if you enjoy my videos. And again, if you don't, I love you anyways. Have a wonderful Thursday and bye-bye for now.